Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to hollandfloors.com slash block. So I'm coming to you live from my mechanic shop. Yep, I'm letting my Toyota get fixed up right now. I've had some trouble with the, um, the inner tie rod. So if you need a good mechanic, look for Lagos Mechanic and Lebon. They're really good. But anyways, I decided to go ahead and start this video. A lot of people have questions about driveways that need repair especially in the Dallas area, a lot of the driveways were built with wire mesh, and so the driveways are cracking up, breaking apart, and they wanna know if we could replace them. And this is a specialty of ours, so of course we can. So I'm gonna take you through a project here in Dallas where they had the same problem. It was broken up concrete, cracked up, not just hairline cracks or stress cracks, but actual foundation cracks. And it's causing the driveway to hold water to just be unbearable to look at the real big eyesore but also a big hazard when you're driving over so what we did is we we took our tractor and there our bobcat and we we took up the old driveway then we went through and formed a new driveway and put the correct grade on it so that the water would run off. And now we took an ugly area of these people's home and made it beautiful. So we made the curb appeal so much more enlightening as people drive down. And as they drive into their house now, or they now have a, a beautiful look. So check it out, come enjoy the video. So as you can see, here's the back side of this project right here by the garage door. You can see that these cracks are actually foundational cracks. Here's the side of the driveway. It's also got a lot of foundational cracks and it's causing water to actually pull along the side of the foundation. And when you drive over it in those areas, it's causing the driveway to actually sink down more so when the water runs down the driveway it stops right here where these arrows are pointing because it's creating a pull effect so essentially after you have a big downpour now you've got a, a pool or a pond where it almost seems like you could fish out of and it's it, it's uh, very much a headache to the homeowners when they have to walk around to get on their deck or just to walk around and open up this this gate because they're walking through a swimming pool now and it creates a lot of problems for the foundation of the house having that water sit up against it. Here's the back side. I circled this area. This is actually the area where it's pulling near the garage door and away from the garage door. It's causing water to go into the garage and it's causing water just to sit here and not run away. Um, down the driveway like it should be in, in, in a normal driveway. So we've got to actually go through and rip out this driveway and we've got to reform the driveway and re-pour it. So when we reform the driveway, we're going to first cut back closer to the garage door so we can create a trough drain so it collects some of that water and shoots it out into the yard. And then what we're going to do is raise up the forms to create a grade so that it now runs away from the garage and it's going to run away from the house down the side of the driveway. In order for that to happen, we've got to use what you can see in this picture. It's called a transit level, laser level. So we're going to go through and shoot grades so that we can bring the forms up higher than they were. And it still has to meet up with the existing driveway that's, that we didn't replace. And that existing driveway that we did not replace is closer to the street. And the reason we didn't replace that area is because the homeowners wanted to preserve that tree that was right near that driveway. And if we had to replace that part of the driveway, we would have definitely have cut into the roots and they were fearful that it might kill the tree. So what we did is we shot the grades, if you will, from the section of driveway near the tree to the section of driveway near the garage door so that we could create enough of a slope where the water would run down the driveway, away from the house, 
and out like it's supposed to where it won't create a pulling effect or any flooding. As a matter of fact, where the circle is in this photo, we're gonna replace the concrete just in that area and we're gonna put a drain there and have it run out into the yard so that it doesn't pull in that area as well. So I didn't get any photos showing the rebar, but just so you know, we have number three rebar, 18 inches on the center. I wanted to go ahead and show you the photos of us pouring and finishing the concrete driveway. So here's an example of the back area, of course. I've got a couple of my finishers working the concrete in. And I'm about to show you the trough drain as it's formed. We have it leading out into the yard. We'll go ahead and dig a tunnel with PVC pipe that will hook up to the trough drain there. In the next photo I'm going to show you is a picture of the finished trough drain with the grate also. We basically have the trough drain starting at around uh, 2 inches deep and ending at about 6 inches deep. Then the PVC pipe will hook into the trough drain and it will empty out into the yard, thus taking away the water from entering the garage and then also serving a purpose of watering the yard and not wasting that water. Here's a photo showing the finished product. As you can see, the trough drain is going to collect some of the water and then also we have a slope on the driveway that's going to bring the water down the driveway. It's not going to pull any longer. Matter of fact, after we poured the night of, the, luckily the concrete of course had set up, but it stormed and it was a test and the homeowners were able to see that the water ran away from the garage down past the house and into the drain in the section where the tree is located and then emptying into the PVC pipe there in the front yard and popping up right there at the front yard watering the lawn there in the front. If you are experiencing the same problem as this driveway was having and was built with wire mesh instead of rebar, your concrete is coming up in pieces, it's on level, you're having water stand in areas, probably creating mosquitoes, and it's just bothering you, then please give us a call. We'd love to come out with you and just talk to you. Even if you're not ready to replace it yet and you just want to know what your options are, please feel free to call us. We'll come out for free. You can reach us at 214-287-2563. You can also read more information at hollandfloors.com slash blog. Thanks so much and have a great day.